Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, I will quickly show you how you can format your spreadsheet so it looks nice and it's visually something nice to look at. At the moment, as you can see, this just looks like a, a bit of a noise and you can imagine if there was lots more data, it'd be very hard to distinguish different figures, different people, it's very hard. Even though there's the lines there, you can easily get, you might be looking at Bob Moore and you might actually get the figure for the person above, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to quickly format your Google Sheets spreadsheet to make it look much nicer. So the first thing I think we need to do is to put some colour into it and to distinguish these a little more. So if you go from the top where you've got your actual field name there, and then you want to highlight all of your data. Now I'm doing this by holding down my left mouse button and dragging down to the bottom like that. However, a quicker tip, if you're going to highlight data to the end there, and then highlight data to the end there, best way to do it is to go to the first cell there, hold down your shift key and control key, and then do your arrow cursor key to the right, and that will take it to where the data ends. And then you still hold down your control shift key and then press the down arrow and that will take you to where the data ends. It's a much quicker way when you're dealing with data in a spreadsheet rather than having to go like that. So as you can see, it's much quicker. Okay, so from there, where you want to go to is to go to format and from go to alternating colors. And you'll immediately see that it's changed the colors. So the top one, that's where your headers are. That's gave it its own color. And then it's given the lines a separate color. There's options as well here on the right. So you can change it. That's quite gray, quite conservative, which is, might be what you want. Or you might want something like that, for example. Lots of different color options you have. They're all quite nice. Like that or you can choose your own here as you can see so the header you can click on there and change the header say if you want it as a blue you could just drag that to there it is a nice blue and press ok that's the header changed and then the first color if you wanted it all blue you could keep it all blue just have a very light blue like that and then your second color you could also do that do this may not be the best option but just to show you so you can do it like that doesn't look very nice if i'm being honest with you so we go for a standard one i'll just go with that one that looks nice so instantly we have changed it so it's much more easy to see so there you see you've got claire stevens you can see she's in white so it's unlikely that you're going to miss mix, mix her up with bob Moore or the one above so it's not just make it visually looking better it, it's practical as well when you're looking at data now up here, this is quarter one sales, so straight away we can change the heading, just make it bold perhaps, change the font size to a bit bigger like that. And there we've got the quarter one sales, so we've got January there, February there, March there. But this here, we could highlight it a bit more, this is January, this is February, this is March. So the way to do that, at the moment January is in that cell, but it covers these two cells here, so I'm going to... Highlight them to and merge January into them two cells. To do that, just click on that there, merge cells. Do the same with that. Merge cells, do the same with that. Merge cells. And then you can from there make that bold, either doing that or do pressing Control B also does it as well. Um, and what we want to do is to center it. So center. Center your text, center your text, and center your text. Again, it looks better, but I still think you could do a bit more. So I think we could put a color into this. So if you go to, if you just want to do one cell, earlier on we did alternating colors. With this, we're just doing one cell. So it's this here, fill color, and we will make it, I'm going to make it really stand, stand out. So I'm going to change that to black but then change the text to white. And do the same with that, black. No, that's wrong, white. 
on the text, black background, white text, and black background, and that's fine. Now you can see, although that's fine, you can't see anything here which I would prefer. So there's a few ways you could do this. First of all, you could do you could highlight this like that. If you'd have to do it from there, if you wanted to add there, so I'll show you why you might want to do it different ways. Highlight the text, or again, if you want to highlight the text, just press Control Shift to the ends. There we go. And then up here, you've got borders. So click on borders, and you can add borders like that, and that'll add borders for you. The only difference is, which I don't like, it's got the two borders there, but you can remove them easily. So you could go like that to remove them. Click on that, remove borders for that one there. But then you'll see it's taken off there. <laughs> this is what you will get. So what you can do then is click on there and click on the top line there. And that'll add them back like that. Now, we've still got the January, February, March. I want a split there. The reason that is, is because we went with a black border, which is fine for this text here, but with this text, because we're using a black background, we'd have to do something different. So just highlight them three cells like that. And then click on there. As you can see, we want to, instead of using that one, I want to use that one, outer borders. And I also want to change the border color. Change the border color to white, should be fine on that, and then click on that. And then you should see that hasn't done what we wanted it to do. Let's go back, click on there. Perhaps it's that one we should click on, click on white, and then you can see it does split them there as well, which is much easier to see. So that's made it much easier already to look at. If we then wanted to look at um, perhaps the value there so these are numbers but these are actual figures to change the figures you would highlight them like that and then click on i'll put the pound sign so in the uk if you're in the usa you'd have the dollar sign click on that and that changes it for you to the pound sign just to add a bit of extra as i said i've done that one you could have if you wanted to do these two having to or separately, you could go there, control shift down arrow to get all them, then hold down control key and then highlight them as well. So it's highlighted them to row um, bits of information there and then click on pound sign and there we go. So we've got them in all the figures. So Obviously, you can put a lot more effort into it, but I think this video quickly shows you that you can make it look much nicer. And as I said, it's not just about how it looks, it makes it much easier to see what's in front of you as well. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.